Army versus Air Force. These two branches will battle it out on the ice as they do each year. But when it comes to the months of preparation prior to the Commander's Cup, players from both teams get more than exercise from the experience. If it wasn't for hockey, I'd probably be a big dorm rat. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be staying in my room all the time. This, this gets me out. I'm skating three times a week. Uh, met a good community of people, so I, it means a lot to me to be able to still play. The ability to escape the norm of their military duties is shared among other members of the two teams as well. I look forward to it whenever, whenever there's practice or anything, just to get out and get your mind off of work. Leaving their duties in the locker room also brings a new social dynamic for the troops now mixing rank for sport. I'm an A1C and a lot of these guys are like staff sergeants and above, so it's like really weird to be hanging out with like these people that have like 10 years on me. I, a lot of us do know each other uh, just outside of the game itself. Of course, however, those relations can turn to some friendly trash talk prior to the game. A lot of us will we'll take little shots out on each other on social media, some text messages here and there. But it's all part of the fun that comes with the opportunity. Uh, this is something really unique that a lot of service members don't have the chance to have. Of course, when the game is over, it's back to status quo. When I do see them out, we still go by customs and courtesies. I'm no longer justice. I'm Captain Newman again. and. I'm, it's part of the game. Uh, that's why we try really hard to keep the rink and everything out of the locker room and off the ice. While the fun will end for each player eventually, it's something they'll cherish for a lifetime. I'm going to have lifelong relationships with these people after, after this, so it's great. I'm Adrian Peterson reporting for News Center Fairbanks.